Okay. You want to remove these four screws. One here, 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 and here. And I got dust and hair. <laughs> now, unless you got tools to do it that you can pop in there to get started, you want to just grab it and pop it, pop it. And then you can, if you have the tools, which I don't, you can just glide along in there. But don't use like screwdrivers and stuff. Get the proper plastic like tools. But if you don't got that. The first time you pop one of these open, it's going to be hard. And this is the first time I popped this one open. Okay, <laughs> I finally popped it open. But you want to pop open like this. Then slowly, watch out for these tops here. Well, this one came off easier than my other controller. The other controller I had, the button get caught in there, popped off, I had to replace the, st the spring back in there and everything. Watch for this cable here. When you take it off, because you don't wanna break that. And then, just grab this, your cable wire. the battery unplug it take it off now if you get the battery that I'm gonna be linking it's got the top reversed the wires reversed As you can see, so you got it's reversed. You want the red and black to switch places. Now, what you want to do is like take a needle or something, stick in there, pop this up, and pull out the wire. You got that popped up. Be on the safe side because you don't want these wires touching. I usually cover one up like that just to be on the safe side. It's up to you if you want to take that chance or not. This one's being a bitch. Okay, now I got this out. Then we'll stick this one in this slot. And then we'll take this one back out. Whoops, I didn't mean to fold it over so tight. Okay. And make sure the little bump groove things toward the bottom boom that's in there make sure it's matched up with this little diagonal part here I'm going to cut this out I'm going to cut this these two little uh, plastic pieces here and this little plastic piece I'm going to cut that off and then these two back here I'm going to cut about half into them. I'm not going to cut all the way. And then, also another thing I'm going to do is make sure I got this right. I'm going to cut a little bit off on this. So I'll show when I get back. Okay, as you can see, I cut out all the, the tabs and stuff. Oh, I forgot to do the controller. I'll do that in a second. That's just a little sticky stuff to keep the battery in place. Um, hold on one second. Anyways, and I also chopped a little bit of this side off that's going to go over the battery wire in. Because I did another one of these controllers and I just cannot get that. But anyways, you can place it right in there like that. Make sure you're not touching the damn PS button and plug it in plug it in there got plugged in 
fun part smushing the wire. Still watch this cable wire. You don't want that snapping on you. There. Just be careful how much pressure you put on the battery and what you do with the battery. You don't want to ding it up or anything. But, you see I had the other controller like this. And I had a problem with it closing on this side because that little tab kept pressing on this wire in here. So, I found it best just to remove it. And it'll still click in place. But anyways, here's what it looks like when it's done. Push the buttons over first, the shoulder buttons, bumper, or whatever, the shoulders. And then you'll have these little tabs that will get in the way. Kind of smush. And I just freaking push the button when I said no, <laughs> push the button. As you can see, it's working. <laughs> and you probably heard my PS4 came on. And I don't got this one on, right? Okay, there we go. Let's see now. And it just snaps right in place. See before I, I was having a problem getting the snap on this side. It, it would it would bulge because of those wires, but with that clipped out. But see it's all sturdy, it's all snapped in place. And everything. I got a mess to clean up here. Oh crap, I didn't even realize this. Watch this. Sometimes this will come off. Which crap. It'll only take a second. Let me Well, you can see how it comes apart quicker once you <laughs> pop it open. Cable. Where'd it go? I hear this. This little rubber thing goes right by the battery. The very corner. It'll have little grooves. Make sure it's in there right. See, so it won't slide. It has to match up the grooves. Whoops! I just reset my controller. <laughs> That's the reset button, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, so now make sure your wires are all in place still, which they got moved when the battery got moved. There, everything's in place. Make sure you pop over these little edges here. And there's the controller again. There. Now you just put the screws back in. And you're done. And like I said, it's working. 